All right, Steve, thank you. Well, fears of going to the hospital during a pandemic almost cost a Jupiter man his life. His wife says for 14 hours he suffered severe nausea and weakness, and little did they know that he was actually having a massive heart attack. WPTV News Channel 5's Michelle Casada tells their harrowing story and why they are urging people not to wait to seek medical care. When Brian Cartland got to the hospital, his wife learned his heart was only pumping at 10%. They allowed me to see him one last, you know, one last time. I remember they're rolling him down the hallways and I go, I love you. I shouted really loud down the hallway. I love you. And he, he whispered, I love you. For hours, he had been nauseous and weak. I was really concerned because I thought he was getting dehydrated. The last thing on your mind was let's go to the hospital. Josie said the doctors told her Brian suffered a widowmaker heart attack. If they had waited any longer, he would have died at home. From a cardiac standpoint is time is muscle. The quicker we open that artery, the quicker we restore blood supply, the better the preservation of heart muscle. And once heart muscle is damaged, it's damaged forever. There is no coming back. Dr. Eric Lieberman, medical director of cardiology at Tenet Health, says they are seeing patients delay medical care for fear of coming into the hospital. I think the reality is if someone is having symptomatology that seems unusual for them, that is new onset and is persisting for more than a few minutes, it's time to at a minimum pick up the phone and make a call and at least get some medical advice, if not seek emergent medical attention. Due to COVID-19, this is the only way Josie has been able to see her husband recently and FaceTime calls. Two years ago, I had a stroke and I actually had a heart block. But the difference is he got to be by my bedside in the ICU every day while I recovered. The difference here is I can't be by his side. And that's been really difficult during this time. A friend told her they are now two mended hearts, and Josie can't wait to take her other half home later this week. Michelle Casada, WPTV News Channel 5.